Hi, I'm Mike Agus. Uh, I work for Verizon. So we're a large global technology telecoms business. We're planning at the start of the year for um, all the initiatives we could get involved in. And then, of course, by March, all of our planning had largely gone out the window of all of the in-person and face-to-face -face in, uh, initiatives that we planned. Um, and so we quickly had to, had to pivot and try and find other areas that we could support. And one of the areas that became quite prevalent and um, came up actually through our partnership with business in the community um, through our community lead in the, in the UK um, was that a lot of charities and small organisations were really struggling with getting themselves into the online environment from having typically been involved in very much face-to-face -face interactions to suddenly overnight having to take all of their operations and take them online was a massive challenge for, for any organization, but especially for many uh, smaller charities. And we recognized that that was absolutely an area where we had some expertise and we could support. Um, as an organization, we're used to using these sorts of tools every single day. We sell quite a few of these video conferencing tools. And it felt like a really natural area of support that we could go out to the community um, and support organizations and charities with. So it was certainly... Certainly when we saw this opportunity in particular come up and the chance to support Glen Craig, we, um, we thought it was a really natural fit where we could have some pretty immediate benefit. My name is Vincent Reynolds from the Campbell community Glen Craig. The community to look after children with special needs. Um, in 1954, Glen Craig was started, the first community in Ireland. And again, it started off as a school, but as things went on, um, adults started to live here. So now in Glen Craig, we have um, children, young adults and adults living here. So it's a residential community where people live here, they work here, but we've also got some um, people coming in on a daily basis as well, yeah. We wanted to have a conference bringing together these volunteers, the people from the partner countries and other people with sort of, um, yeah, celebrating Camp Hill's 80th anniversary, but also promoting and looking at new ways to support volunteers. With the restrictions due to COVID-19, having vulnerable adults here, you don't want to bring in a lot of people from outside because it increases the risk. So as time went on, it became more that it was going to have to be a virtual conference. In the, in the summer, July, I contacted business in the community to get some support because there was, you know, like we wanted to make this conference that as engaging as possible, that it would be an interactive conference, that people wouldn't just be listening to presentations and big groups. Mm -hmm. We wanted to use Zoom, that there would be breakout rooms and people could have conversations and really work together on the theme. So, you know, like we were looking for people who could help us with that. We got introduced to Vincent and um, we just really wanted to understand a lot more about what uh, Camp Hill are, what they do, um, and what Vincent really needed support around. And we were able to identify from that point a few of our specialists um, that we've got. And so we knew that bringing them into the conversation, they'd be able to provide Vincent uh, with the expertise that he was looking for to get the conference set up and understand all of the, the various tools available to him, all of the, the functionality um, mm -hmm. through using a tool such as Zoom so that he could effectively run a really engaging conference um, really to the, to the best he possibly could within the current situation. But I just knew with the conference we needed a platform like Zoom. And, you know, I was aware of using... Um, the breakout room, so it was something like that. And then, you know, like suddenly I got this um, email from Angela and Mike that, you know, like they'd be interested in helping us and they wanted a meeting and it was just fantastic to support, mm -hmm. um, you know, like from the first meeting because we had this meeting just to find out about each other. And then at the end of the meeting, um, one of the Mike's colleagues, Felicity, she went through our Zoom um, package and was able to say, you need that part, you don't need that part. And I had been sort of trying to figure this out myself, but you know, like we spent about a half an hour, which would probably have taken me six months to, 
to figure out. It was just fantastic. Then after that, we sort of had a number of meetings, which were a bit like rehearsing for the conference. So we would do a Zoom call. We would try to break out rooms. We tried with, um, you know, sharing screens, using um, questionnaires with polls and that. So it was really great having that experience of trying things out and then, um, you know, Mike and his colleagues being able to give advice, what we could do to improve things. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it's um, certainly, you know, at, at the corporate level, it, it ticks that box, but it's really not about that at all. It was really, given the current situation we're in and given the great work that Camp Hill do and other organisations that we've supported in a similar vein do, it's really just being able to use some of the skills and expertise we've got to, to try and you know, bring people into that technical age to allow for these sorts of things. We're all in the same boat at the moment and you know, any support that we can give um, to ensure that operationally they can keep going and keep doing the great work is, is absolutely worthwhile. And so certainly on a personal level, and I know speaking on uh, Felicity and Josh's behalf as well, they thoroughly enjoy being involved in it. Um, and it's, it goes well beyond just ticking the box. We wouldn't have been able to get in contact with Mike throughout, you know, like your, um, yeah, your help. Yeah. So that was fantastic. The support you gave us that, you know, I could go to Angela and Hillary and then they, they promoted it and then Mike and his team saw it and they came back to us. So that was fantastic, yeah. Thank you very much. Well, the facilitation from business in the community and skills match is, is essential because otherwise, you know, we could spend all day trying to research and try and find organisations to support. But ultimately, it's, you know, it's you guys who really find exactly what it is and the level of support that these sort of organisations mm -hmm. need um, and, then, and then do the, the hard work of matching. So it's, it's really appreciated.